Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Thousand Week Reich. On their update 0.2, which added content to the Balkans and Hung Kingdom of Hungary. So, the stagnate years. Since the kingdom's emergence as a victor, the nation has grown more dependent on the profits of Deutschland. While this period brought Hungary great, great benefits, German trade influence also meant a sharp increase of German political control over Hungary. Several institutions were established to represent German interest in the region. For the longest time, which is a great song by Billy Joel, the Holthy government has tolerated the existence of these groups. However, the German economic collapse of 1948 convinced the Regency that it is now time to make an important decision in order to transform Hungary into a nation that could withstand the test of time. Regnum Marie Patrona Hungari. So I'll be honest here, I at the time of this recording, I have not played the Thousand Week Reich for a couple months. Also, the mods we're using is obviously Thousand Week Reich mod, the Stage Tool mod, and Player of the Peace Conferences. The tutorial, welcome to the mod, there's a couple additional menus, uh, GDP mechanic, UM mechanic. I'm ready to play. I remember this GDP rankings. We're actually 10th in the world, that's not bad. I mean, we're, I would say, a tiny, tiny far, but whatever. Third German rally organized. The Volksbund has created a sort of tradition. Every year since its formation, the Volksbund continue to organize annual rallies near Budapest. These, these rallies often attract thousands of German supporters, and while the Holthy regime is eager to, or eager to suppress such meetings, the gov German government's pressure has kept the government's hands tied. Subsequently, Franz Anton Bosch, the leader of the Volksbund, is growing bolder as each rally becomes even grander than the previous one. Let's hope this goes smoothly. Oh boy. And yeah, we're using Player of the Peace Conferences. It is, of course, 1952. What if Germany won World War II, except Japan now lost? The Budapest bloodbath. As the Germans gathered, things took an unexpected turn for the worse. Without warning, the Volksbund members formed themselves into several columns and began marching towards Budapest. Police officers were unable to contain all of the participants, and around 100 radicals entered the streets of Budapest, causing an extensive amount of damage on local businesses and pedestrians. It took the authorities several hours to fully control the situation. The nation was shocked by such news, and rumors of Volksbund members being armed with Germania backing began circulating around the capital. Curses! Radical influence increases slightly, more national daddyism and fascismus, and less stability. Oh boy, like, I'll be honest here, I've not tried this off the screen at all, so I don't know what's happening. We're led by Miklos Horthy. We don't even have a national focus because we can't select anything here, so we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. Emergency cabinet meeting. Shortly after the incident, a few hours or so ago, Regent Miklos Horthy summons an emergency cabinet meeting discussing matters related to the recent violence in Budapest. Due to the fact that these meetings were being held behind closed doors, no official statements were made by the government. After the brief meeting, Miklos Horthy greeted journalists from the state media, assuring the public that Hungary shall remain steady on her course to greatness and prosperity. While none are certain on what Horthy meant, trusted sources are suggesting that drastic changes might come soon. Time of changes? Steady as she goes, if you'd like to read about this one. Oh. The Kingdom of Hungary previous cautiously enters a new decade, as a primary goal of stability remains unchanged in the government's mind. Launch investigation. After such an incident in Hungary's capital, the government must launch an investigation on the culprits for national security's sake. Also, the reason I'm playing Hungary in the Thousand Week Reich is first of all, uh Thousand like I said earlier, the Thousand Week Reich got an update for Hungary. Um and secondly, I've never played I don't think I've ever have I played Hungary ever on this channel? I don't know. So, I figured, you know what, might as well, since... Does Kaiserreich Hungary even have a focus tree yet again? I don't remember. Anyways, we have four national spirits. Hungarian stagnation, not good. We have German economic influence, which is not good. Uh, mostly not good. We have Volksbund der Deutschen in Ungarn, which is... Gives us more national daddyism support. We have anti-German military. We have a refugee crisis, as well as a pro parliamentary influence rising. So... And we are currently trying to build up quite a few civilian factorinos. So, launch investigations. I love that it doesn't take too long to do that focus. And this is what we're researching currently. So, not bad. Zoltan Tildi retires. Having served the small holders party throughout his life, Zoltan Tildi has handed his, in his letter of resignation to the party headquarters. In his letter, Tildi expressed his desire to no longer be involved in politics due to his worsening health, wanting to spend more time focusing on his health and his family. With his immediate resignation, Fenek Nagy is now in charge of the FKGP. Alright then. Goodbye. So, military staff, healthy, uh, let's see, oh. The country's know the chief of navy, old school admiral, Death of Sven Bjornsson. Alright, and then we also have more. We got a lot of horthies here. So, Zoltan Bozormi seeks to return after exile or years of exile in Germany. Zoltan Bozormi has expressed his desire to return to Hungary in a letter directed towards Miklos Horthy. In his letter, Bozormi 
Bezorme Ni has also promised to not involve himself into Hungarian politics, simply wanting to return and live a peaceful life in his homeland. Zoltan Bozormi Bazar Meni was a leading exponent of fascism in Hungary and founded the National Socialist Party of Work, Scythe Cross, in 1931. Eventually, his failed coup in 1936 resulted in his exile, and since then, Bazar Meni has become largely irrelevant in the fields of politics. Should, we allow, should the government allow his return, let him in, say out? I don't know. Let's have a cup of, cup of coffee here and drink first and figure out what we want to do. The Bengal truce, huh? So eventually, we can either declare a national emergency or we can have a new Hungarian state. Let's uphold the arist or auto aristocracy and autocracy, or preparing the great state. Oh. Hungarian Turanism. Well, I don't really know which way to go, and I don't know that, I really don't know pretty much anything about this. Finalizing the Crown Act, minimal shelter, refugees, stop the refugees, immediate deportations, round them up, Implement German policies. Now, what's going to happen probably is Germany's going to fall into a civil war. Nice flag, Germany, huh? With uh, black and white Adolf Hitler. So, I don't know. You know what? Let's let him in. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll go national daddyism, national socialism, but we'll see what happens. Egyptian martial law. So, like I said earlier, I don't know what's going to happen in this. Um, I hope we can do well. That's my hope. I know that, or I am assuming, I don't know this for a fact, but I'm assuming the Romanians don't like us. Because Romanians don't ever like Hungarians or something like that. Something like that, I think. I don't know. I'm not European, so. Then again, as long as you say you don't like gypsies, you're probably okay, right? Oops, I brought it up. Maybe. Uh oh Anyways, so we're, we're missing a lot of equipment, but we're going to launch investigations, even though we're trying to produce some more infantry divisions and tank divisions. The investigation. Appointed by the regent, a swift and secretive investigation was conducted on the secrets behind the recent incident in Budapest. A conclusion was reached, confirming the rumors that Germania was indeed supporting the agitators. Their boats detail a Schutzstaffel project, equipping members of the Volksbund with smuggled firearms. This scheme's ultimate goal is to sway the Hungarian nation onto the side of Germany with political violence and radicalization. It is now up to the government to decide a response. Hungary can either choose to release this information to the world, confront the Germans in secret, or classify the information. These guys are potential autocrats as well. Hmm, the world needs to know. Radical influence decreases rapidly, or drastically. Confront the Germans in secret. Classify that information. Well, let's classify. I, I, I'm, I, just, I really don't... I, I feel like we're just going to go down the National Socialist route, but uh, it is what it is. Alliance with the Moderates? Meeting with the military. Ooh, I guess we'll do alliance with the moderates for now. Nah, I'll do the other one first. It's important for the government to maintain good ties with the military to prevent any possible political instability within the nation and to ensure military support if things were to get out of hand. I hope no one tries to come beat us up. Oh, death of the George VI. Radicals increase activity. Recently, the fascists and the Volksbund have increased their activity in Hungary, arranging frequent meetings to attract more followers. Keep an eye on them. Okay, and do we have any decisions here? Oh, Hungary's power balance. After the successful war against the Russians, the Hungarian government has been constantly influenced by the three political factions, the radicals, the military, and parliament. These opposing sides are constantly at odds, attempting to sway the government in different directions for their own benefits. Therefore, it is the government's duty to balance these opposing sides. The military loyalty is neutral. German grants. Radical influence increases. Military loyalty, well, if you're not radical, what's the point of doing so? Oh. Me with the deputies, bribe the deputies. Oh, the atomic bomb. Kaboom. Kaboom. Death of Rallis of Greece. So if I remember correctly, some people got some reworks in some new content, including Serbia, Croatia, Romania. It was Morocco. Um, Greece. I think even Cyprus, when the release got uh, like some content too, and, as well as Quebec. Quebec. So we'll see what happens. I don't really know. Like I've said multiple times already, but... I'm here for a good time, maybe not a long time, but for a good time. Radicals increase activity. Recently, recently the fascists and the Volksbund have increased their activity in Hungary, arranging frequent meetings to attract more followers. Keep an eye on them. Uh, okay, meetings with the high command. Following recent development, the Royal Army is paying close attention to the government's decisions. With a firmly anti-German command call, a meeting was called by the regent reaffirming the military's loyalty to the Holthy regime. With this reassurance, the military has sworn to stand for the stability of the nation. Together, full stability. Oh, with this political power. Well, that's not good. Well, there's nothing else we can do except alliance with the moderates, so... Against the radical influence of Germany, the ruling government and the moderates have gained a common enemy, allowing the factions to temporarily set aside their differences, forming an alliance to stop Hungary from drifting into the grasp of radicalism. It seems like we're forced to do this, so... But I want to be a radical. Mom, Dad, I want to be radical. 
Watch me on my skateboard. I don't know. My mind, whenever I'm recording Hoi 4 videos anymore, my mind is just already gone, so. Gulag Revolts, interesting. Ooh. Uh, makes right, huh? Heard and cool. That's cool. Death of Beria. Bye, Beria. I still have yet to play as the USSR here, or even the Russian Republic, or even Baratia. 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 Bur I don't know. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm saying so many things wrong, probably, in all my games. Shady dealings in the Rikerino. Oh, Hitler, what are you up to? Or your ministers. I don't know. Cornet de Club Premier. Hello, interesting. The vacant throne. Since the kingdom's recreation after the failed Soviet Republic, Hungary was left without a monarch, while multiple attempts were made to crown Habsburg, the major powers at the time stopped all of these attempts. And after Horthy's ascension as Hungary's dictator regent, the motivation or motivational to refill the crown became dimmer, only brought up again recently thanks to the developing situation in Hungary. And we're currently led by the paternal autocrat. So post war production line, not bad. We got that one, so what is this one? Oh, that's quite ahead of time. Military factory? Yeah, we'll probably do this one. That's probably pretty good. And we need to start doing some land doctrine stuff, too. Why is Benat an SS Oldenstadt? He, Sep Yanko, looking pretty handsome there. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty darn handsome. Hmm. Oppressed natives. What? Uh, is this just, like, historically where there's a lot of Germans here or something? Like, I, I don't know. Do they have a focus tree? They do have a focus tree. Ooh. German brigades. Oh, Thousand Week Reich Banat campaign when? An Egyptian Republic. They believe in republics down there? An Arab Republic, huh? He looks good. Mohammed Naguib. John advances Vietnam. Desali elected. Well, we'll see what happens, I guess. Alright. And after the vacant throne, we are going to do what else? Budapest connections? Not if there's an ongoing political shift. Um. Budapest Connections. The U.S. of A. still maintains a minor diplomatic legation in Budapest, <clears throat> giving us a small window for communications. While the, with the Germans becoming more and more unpredictable, it might be time for Hungary to establish some understanding between the, the Toronto Accords and Hungary. Well, we'll see what happens. Resources. Let's see if we can do some engineering with mechanical computing. And how about land doctrine? Oh, I don't rem oh, I don't remember this. Which one is this one? Land. Oh, that's not bad. Asymmetric warfare might not be bad. Mm, we are using, like, recon in our division, so this might not be bad to do. Air stuff. I don't know. Strategic theorem? Large scale, well, plus 10 max entrenchment sounds really nice. Offensive theory? Defensive theory. Asymmetric warfare? I kind of want to do asymmetric warfare just because it sounds like fun. Four, four more percent more population. Holy cow. We don't actually... We're at... 2.5% limited conscription. That's not bad. Entrenchment, max entrenchment. Strategic retreat. Um, maybe not strategic retreat. Strategic theorem. Mm, training. Oh, maybe we'll just go with combined operations. Something tried and true, right? Combined operations. Why not? Cool. Re resigns. Goodbye, Re. Malayan emergency. Well, at least there's a lot of things happening. That's kind of fun, right? The vacant throne. Upon Hungary's defeat in the Great War, attempting. Attempts at restoring the throne were foiled time and time again. In the end, it resulted in Miklos Horthy's regency, leaving the Kingdom of Hungary without an actual king. Enough time has passed, and considering recent events, the government has once again opened the door of discussion, attempting to make a decision on what to do with the Hungarian throne. While the government can choose to appoint a committee to handle the issue, the region himself can make a decisive choice on behalf of Hungary. Let a committee handle it. Establish a committee to determine the future of the vacant throne on second thought, where his brief and subsequently dropped. De this seems like more the democratic route, and we don't want to go democracy this time around. So, I'll do the Budapest connection and see what happens. So, you know. Anything else unlocked? No. Fighting the stagnation? Sure. The economic stagnation is felt by Hungarians of all backgrounds, being a major problem that has plagued the nation since Germany's recession. This has exposed the major flaws of Hungarian economy, major f major flaws that the government must seek to repair before regaining the hearts and minds of the people. Labour wins the UK elections, interesting. End of the Algerian war, things were bombed. A civil unrest in Bulgaria, I love it. Or in Free, Stat for free, Stat free State has gone bye-bye. Dissolution of the Sahara, one less monster state. Okay, not bad. Uh, actually, I still don't... Yeah, I don't think I've played Italy. Oh, Mussolini, how are you doing? Yeah, I have not played... There's so many nations I've not played. Luxury hotels in Crete. Oh, my goodness. Yes, please. Conservatives win in Korea. Oh, don't tell me they have unique focus tree. There's so much here. There's so many mods nowadays for Hoi4, and I'm just like... 
what am I going to play? What am I going to do? What am I going to focus on the channel? I can only play so many mods every day, especially if I dedicate like an a half an hour to an hour to each, you know, episode of a campaign. Oh, so many mods, so little time. But Nat's under attack. Are you trying to get scavenge loot from each other? But anyways, contacting the legation. When Germany's relation greatly deteriorated with the U.S., a diplomatic service... Services, the respective sides grinded to a halt. However, the Americans have maintained a small legation in Budapest, performing basic functions as a diplomatic legation. Germany, as a partner, has grown to be a threat for Hungarian national sovereignty. It is now time for Hungary to explore new options and perhaps meet with the legation representative to discuss about the future. Request support. Hydrogen bomb. Nice. Kaboom. Well, fighting stagnation. Hey, we actually have a political power. Look at that. Washington accepts. Understanding Hungary's situation, the U.S. of A. has promised us support, increasing the diplomatic status between the two nations and providing Hungary with a safety net. Nice! Thanks for the political power! Let's become more radical. Bribe the commanders. Military loyalty to increase. Relatively loyal, huh? Meet with the deputies. Master ideology. We get more political power for 20 days. 10% more. Eh. Suppress radical influence. Deploy... I thought I said racial thugs. I'm like, what the heck is racial thugs? Request German grants. Fascism, national daddyism. Includes uh, undermine high command. Request German grants. High command protest. Deputy speak out. Nothing happens. Well, I want to see what happens with this one. High command protest. The Hungarian high command has voiced their concerns concerning our regime's collaboration with the nationalist radicals, issuing a state secret statement warning the government of its eight possible consequences. Let them cram. Rant. Appease them. Well, they're neutral now. And I think in this mod, we... This hurts some stuff, yeah. Yeah, it hurts our consumer goods when we select stuff like this. Oh, look, we have dictatorship. We have highly industrialized economy. We are on early mobilization. Wow, that costs a lot of political power to go even higher. That's all right. How do we piss people off? Suppress radical influence. I like radical influence. Well, it makes it much more interesting, doesn't it? Mm, decreases light slightly. We lose some army XP, but we don't have army XP. Bribe the commanders. Regulate the military. Radical influences decreases. Well, 45%, 35%, 45%, 30%. Neutral, so it is what it is. Spanish victory, North Africa. Goodbye, Sp North Africa. Have fun in Spain. Magyarization? As a bastion of relative stability and common sense in Central Europe, many refugees of different ethnicities have flocked to Hungary. As Hungary's latest subjects, the process of Magyarization should soon begin. Determining the fate of these immigrants, we get some political power and the refugee tree. I love refugees. Now, what do we do with these people? That is always a good question to ask. What do we do with people? You don't touch them that way. Don't touch them. Um, repudiate these guys. Well, we can lower that and increase parliamentary influence. Uh, suppress and deploy. We want to deploy some dudes. 40%, 45%, 25%. Fight the stagnation. Nice. And right now, we have how much percent of national daddyism? Man, German spacecraft. 11%, and it's slowly going up. Ah, I love war between the sun of... Sinos of the Chinese and the Vietnamese. Modernizing the military. Ooh. Cannot be cancelled manually, huh? With the Romania's military gr might growing by day by day, this nation desperately requires swift military modernization. If Hungary wishes to stand a better chance against her enemies, the military must rapidly reform to protect national security uh, and sovereignty. Well, it looks like Bulgaria is having a bad time. Oh, Ethiopian uprising. Cool. This, oh, don't tell me. This is... Oh, God. That's his... These are some really slanty borders, which is not a bad thing. Do you have a unique focus tree? No, you do not. I would be really actually happy if they did. Uh, they do not either. Military construction? Not bad. Well, I think that's done for now. We got this going on. Let's grab some more decryption, which would be nice. Radicals elements. U.S. criticizes Chinese intervention. Einstein visits Israel. Raid. Regulate. Now they're 40%. That's good. Einstein, oh, okay, wow, he visited, and then he died, wow, rightist victory in Sweden, ah, the rightists, um, <laughs> eh, yeah, I think I'm going to save my PP, ah, let's go and do modernize the military, because I don't trust those despicable Romanians, huh, hmm, I'm slowly running out of coffee. I should just really stop drinking so much caffeine. Oh, well. 
undermine the high command. Increase radicals and increase activity. Recently, the fascists and the Volksbund have increased their activity in Hungary, arranging frequent meetings to attract more followers. Keep an eye on them. Cool. Undermine the high command. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going to happen now? More research speed, please. Please, 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 please. You get more stability this way. That's not bad. Influence increases slightly. Um, 10%. Well, we can try it. It's not going to help us out that much. But, you know, 0 0.2 for 20 days is like 4 more political power. Which isn't really worth it. But, hey, we did anyways because we could. But that does help make it 45%, 35, 35. So, it's not too bad. After modernizing the military, what do we want to do? Uh, handling the refugees. Oh, I like political power. Revitalizing the economy might be really good. Matters of the military. Death of Vazmin. Um, okay, keep an eye on them. Alright, whatever. Well, there's nothing else. So, changing direction. Soldiers. Well, hmm. Masters of the military. Might not be bad to do. Air Force. We can't. We have no navy, so. Land for production speed. Construction speed. Wow. Well,. Let's go with Masters of the Military first, just because I want at least one military factory. Hungary's military is great, but like any situation, there's always room for improvement. We must make it the highest priority of our state for the coming months to actively improve our military. A government assembly will make it their purpose to analyze every flaw in our military and will find simple and complex solutions to our slowly aging military. Hungary's military is great, but like any situation, there's always room for improvement. Is this slowly aging? Uh, this was copied and pasted twice. Yeah. To actively improve. Simple and complex solutions. Simple. Whole simple and complex. Yeah, this is copy and paste it twice, huh? Okay, well, all right, whatever. Mm hmm. Thurman elected as president. Um. Okay, well, good luck, guys. Strom Thurman isn't isn't that the guy in TNO where if. Wallace gets impeached, he becomes president, or is it RFK? It might be RFK, I can't remember. But happy 1952, it's almost 1953. Nice. Regulate the military? Uh, no. Decrease the slightly death of Wolchichowski. Hmm. After that, we'll probably be revitalizing the economy then. With Hungary suffering from a stagnation, the government must revitalize the economy before getting a chance of repairing the worsening situation. Victory for Zagarev. Revolution in Baghdad. Oil crisis? When? Suppress them. Extinguish them. Regulate the military. Huh. Rising, huh? Refugees? No, no. Not, not too much there. Let's revitalize our things then. And after that, expand the mines. Okay, not bad. That's a lot more aluminum. I like the civilian stuff. Unlocks a special contractor. That sounds kind of cool. Well, that's a lot more political power to support the Garians. Not bad. Let's expand the automobile industry first, though. Hungary has a fairly well-developed automobile industry. Only shadowed by Germany within Central Europe. The benefits of an enlarged automobile industry would be felt by both the military and the citizenry. A correct step towards further industrialization, which would be quite nice. And the next one will be done within almost two weeks. Not too bad. And how do we go crazy again? Meet with the deputies? No. No. So what happens if the... Uh, does this do anything, really? Like, What happens if the military loyalty goes drops further and further? Strom... Oh, what a show. I don't even know who he is, so... Um... Let's take a look. He's kind of handsome. Okay, Mr. Handsome. S handsome Strom Th Thurmberg. Thurman. Thurmberg? Thurman. Right? Thurman. Like Thermos. Cool. Let's grab some description and some more uh, vacuum tube computing. Why not? Regulate them. Raid radical bases? Radical. Uh, undermine. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what can I increase radical influences some more? Because they're at 55% now. Turkestan dissolved. So long, Turkestan. I mean, with this one, you do get some more stability, which I do kind of like. But hey, whatever. 
Uh, let's see. Support the Agarians, shall we? In this countryside, or in the countryside, Hungary is still very much an Agarian nation. With thousands of farmers and agricultural workers function as a backbone of the Agarian economy. Hu therefore, Hungary must support this population for a healthy economy. Keep an eye on the radicals and the Croatian... Oh, crap. What the heck? Terrible news from our frontier with the independent state of Croatia. Citing what they believe to be the oppression of the Croatian minority in our provinces of Vojvodina. Groups of Croatian soldiers from the ragtag home guard across the border and began terrorizing villages and even the provincial or province of Novi Sad itself now lies under threat. Oh boy! Oh, that is not bueno. Wait, are we the are we the ones attacking? No, it looks like we're looks like we're attacking. No, Croatia, you back the bad word down. We are going to pierce your booties, even though you can kind of pierce our booties. Yeah. Oh, what? He's dead. Bye bye. Oh, happy 1953, everyone. I forgot to mention that. So happy 1953. Looks like we're winning so far, which is pretty nice. Oh, good lord, Pavelic assassinated, huh? Well, that doesn't sound too good. Get well soon. Uh, stability? You know what? I'm going to grab more stability. Because we could use it. I like stability for the nation. Hungarian troops enter Srem. The Croatian fools thought they could take away our territory in the name of their twisted, radical, or racial supremacy rhetoric. However, following a decisive victory just outside Nobe Sad, we have taken the war to them and occupied the region of Srem, which just so happens to have a substantial population of Hungarians. This is a great victory for everyone in the government and the army. That'll teach the Croats. Okay, look at that. Nice. We did something, everyone. We did something. Not sure what we did, but we did something. There you go. Cool. Oh, Giza, do you have anything for us? Mm, not too much. We can go charismatic, though. That might help out. Just leave it. Another upgrade. I'm not interested in that. Uh, I'm going to wait to choose this one just because I'm not sure of uh, how strong we'll be in the future. So if we have enough defense, I'll go choose offense. If we don't have enough defense, I'm going to choose the defensive one. French Revolution? Oh. Cambodian liberals win in 53. Oh, what? Oh. Wow. France, you're not looking good under no no guys. No guys. The Slavic Revolt. Moscow, Moscow, what's going on? Oh, I forgot that these guys explode. I love it when things explode. Well, sometimes. Uh, anything else? Handling refugees. Well, there's stop refugees. Handling the refugees. Well, let's support the Agarians just because we get more political power for now. 60%. Oh, goodbye, Caucasus region. Renounces the right to war. Oh, um, uh, occupation policy. Shall we? Civilian oversight. Not bad. Oh, these guys are trying to do resistance stuff, which I don't know if that's a really good idea or not. Oh, well, look at how much political power we have or army XP. Well, let's make this a garrison division then. Garrisons. Save zero. Suppression is four point nine. Oh, four. But you. You probably don't need to require nearly as much stuff. And I don't want to use Mountaineers for that. That's kind of stupid. Uh, I'd rather use Cavalry. There you go. It's less suppression, but you need way, hopefully, less equipment for this. I still don't like them using this stuff, but whatever. There you go. There you go. We need to train as well. Thank you. Ukrainian Collapse. What a mess. What a mess. Rebirth of France. New France. Oh, look at that. The French Republic is back. Wow. Free... Wait. Free French Republic. Uh-oh. Second... Oh! Uh, I just started training soldiers. What the bad words? Romanian attack. Wait. What? Um, well... Romanian forces have entered Hungarian soil under a coordinated attack. The Hungarian government is now organizing defense against the enemy while the national reserves and militias have been called into service in an attempt to defend their fatherland. Defend Hungary. For gameplay reasons, uh, Premajuri will be demilitarized to ensure a proper war between you and Romania. Uh, if we need to pull out, when in doubt, pull out. Uh, I don't want to lose too many guys, so... Uh, the game didn't even tell me what was happening. Like, there was no warning about this. What the heck? Uh, Hungarian ground, for ground forces. The primary branch of our military is the ground forces, which are composed of the various types of land warfare, including our infantry, cavalry, motor, and armor units. If we intended to utilize our military in an effective way, updating the army would be the most obvious and handy. Our assembly of experts will begin to look into a various logistical, tactical, and operative elements from our ground forces, past, present, and future. Yeah, I don't like that. We didn't even get a single look of warning. That makes no sense. Like, I get it's supposed to be a surprise attack, but still, like, come on, man. I want you to retreat. Both of you retreat. Collapse of the Caucasus. I don't really care, I'll be honest. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go back. I'm going to do this real quick.
All right, everyone. So I went back like right before they declared war on us, and I made sure I wasn't going to train our soldiers because, well, that obviously didn't go very well for us. Even though we're not looking too good right here, too. Oh, that's that's not good. That's not good. Uh, well, if that's the case, we might just be able to do a little sneak in circlement if possible. Now we're still losing over here. Kind of sucks, but hey, I like I didn't even know this was supposed to happen. Apparently, Serbia, despite how small Serbia is, they're in a civil war too. So, go. Oh, and don't forget the Greeks. I think the Balkans have just kind of gone gone to crap, so... Oh, no, no, don't... I press K instead of H. Oh, bad. Oh, boy. Don't lose your organization. For the love of God, please don't lose your organization. <laughs> um, I mean... Oh, what are these guys doing? We don't have enough armor either, so... Yeah. I don't like that we were just randomly declared war upon, but if I knew that that was going to happen, then it'd be fine, but Bosnia declares... The Balkans have exploded. Then again... They are the Balkans, so. Uh, do anything change here at all? We have a, a construction drive. It does what does Romania have? They have Romanian oil profits. Iron Guard dominated. Iron Guard expanded, as well as the Romanian Wolf. Offensive war stability modifier. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, they have no stability, so it doesn't even matter. About a million manpower. We got two hundred thirty thousand. Some we might want to raise a conscription level. And here's their equipment level. So we'll see what happens. They can have. They're trying to take back parts of Transylvania, obviously, but... I mean, they're going to have to pay for it with all the blood in the world that, that they have, so... Cool, I guess we'll just move in, then. That part of Transylvania that they own, well, it's going to become part of ours. Uh, get those guys over there, too. That'd be nice. Get you guys over here, too. Red, part of the Red Army's collapsed. Cool. And I also made sure that we have our planes over here. Ooh, oh, yeah, they're the planes. Nice. They got a lot of enemy planes. Hungary, not looking super strong right now. Really not looking super strong. Not very good. I don't know how they're able to do so well, but I don't like it. Uh, but it does look like if we hold them in place, we could probably encircle them and uh, do some good stuff over here. Maybe. Especially when these guys leave. So, uh, Albanian Revolution. Nice. Well, just in case, come on down. Wow. Civil War in Western Russia. I get it. I get it. I really do. Well, if that's the case, construction drive is gone. Uh, I don't want to do too many... Kingdom of Croatia, alright. Oh, there goes... Alright then. Hold then, hold, hold, hold. You guys help them out. Then to Muscovine. Well, we kind of figured that was going to happen. Come on. I mean, they just want to attack, 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 attack. These guys are a bit crazy. You guys stop attacking. Oh, they're going to push us back, huh? Well, as long as we don't break our lines. That's the most important thing, probably. And yeah, we push them back. Wow, I don't think we can really hold here too well. You guys hold as well. I mean, if these guys want to die, I mean, we'll, we can give them that. Right, there was Bosnia. Mm, let's grab some encryption and some more encryption. Yeah, I don't think Hungary can do anything here. It's, they're incredibly, incredibly weak. We've lost 34,000. How have they only lost 20,000? Yeah, these guys are incredibly weak. Ustaze overthrown? Am I missing? I'm, I must be missing something here because we can't do anything. I don't like this at all. I really don't. What the heck? Yeah, I guess Romania is supposed to win the war or something. Just because there's nothing we can really do here. How are they this strong? Uh, balance, I guess, is thrown out the window. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do there. Hopefully we can win. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I don't think there's very much we can really do. So, Goring is game. The fat man is here. Alright, then. So, okay... Uh, I guess we could try to encircle them. We'll do the best we can. Uh, well, I guess we, this is what we were trying earlier, so we might as well try it, right? We don't got a lot of guys, but we do have another division. Alright, well. Could be worse. Could be worse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight divisions encircled. 
Not bad. No, you hold. You hold, and you're going to force defense. No matter what happens, you've got to hold your butt together. Hungarian ground forces, coronation of Elizabeth II. All right. Military motorization, might as well. One of the most important things we can do to easily improve our military capabilities is beginning to outfit all, if not most, of our divisions within the, with the proper equipment to allow for the fast operational and logistical speeds of travel. We will fund research projects into the most efficient types of trucks for the military use, and the Assembly will recommend for increased industry spent on motorization. One of the most important things we can do to easily improve our military capability is beginning to outfit all, if not most, of our divisions with the proper equipment to allow for fast operational and logistical speeds of travel. We will fund research projects into the most efficient types of trucks for military use, and Assembly will recommend for increased industry spent on motorization. Okay, uh, guys, you've got to win here. Like, I don't understand what is going on here anymore. Like, come on. I get that they have air superiority and stuff. Are you... Are you kidding me? Get in there. Are you Are you kidding me right now? You can't win as Hungry. Hungry is doomed to fail probably then. This is stupid. This is stupid. You guys go in there. Go, 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 go. You stop them right in their tracks. Can you actually win as hungry? That, that's the real question. Can you actually win as hungry? They just... How do they move so fast? No. I don't think you can win. I don't think it's possible to win as hungry. Move, 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 move. Okay, we got at least a few divisions in here. That's nice. Can we win? Oh, God, I hope we can win. Come on, kill them off. Kill them. You take too long to kill them off, man. Uh, Wait, hold on. Um, can you, where are their divisions? 20 divisions? They have no equipment left, but then again, neither do we. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you. Screw it. Screw it. We need those guys on the front. We got some political power. Can we do anything here? Industrial stuff? Um, motorized. Uh, I guess just go right on ahead, maybe. Let everyone just go right on in. Wow, look at those tanks. They're so bad. Go to Bucharest. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Like, I, I really don't understand what's going on here. Oh, man. Can we at least encircle somebody here? Oh, wow. A lot of dead people. Go, 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 go. Move the old legs. Formation of Burgundy. An interesting concept. Oh, so they're going to avoid the German Civil War then. That's fine. Can I get some help, though? I could really use some help. <laughs> We've lost 56,000 versus 42,000, which I think is just complete BS. That is 100% complete BS. Go, 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 go. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, is there anything we can do here? Come on, as long as they're not moving, we can hopefully do well. Okay, we got these guys encircled. Good. Kill them off immediately. Two more divisions. Hold the line. Oh, oh. You hold, don't waste. I said hold, 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 hold. Do not move until we absolutely have to. Two more divisions are going to die. Can we get more manpower, maybe? Or go to partial... Nope. All right, then. Thousand Week Reich, you are... Difficult. <laughs> And, oh, at least we got rid of two more divisions. That's nice, right? Krayova, let's get over that river immediately. Any on the line as well? No? All right. Well, if we can go straight to Budapest, that'd be kind of nice. Keep these guys in place. Come on, guys. Seriously. Move in. Um, you, uh, there's no one to move in. Encryption is not bad. More decryption, maybe, so we can figure out, so we get some bonuses here, maybe. Come on, guys, can you please win? Just please win. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, you want, don't want to win? All right. Spread yourselves out a little bit more. Military motorization. Expand the Gyor Shad test. Activate the Levent. More manpower. Quality over quantity. Increase small arms production. Superior firepower school, strategic theorem, or mobility. Well, we want combined arms, so that's probably a better way to go. Hungarian Blitzkrieg, you get more motorized attack, mechanized attack, and armored attack. 
Yeah, I guess we're going to go down that way. Expand the Gyorchad's test. The Gyorchad test has always been the pride of the Hungarian land forces, as it was one of the few truly mechanized units during the German-Soviet War, and it served well in combat. However, we never finished a process for full mechanization of the Gyorchad test, and significant portions of the core remain unmechanized, or for even unmotorized. Those must be rectified immediately, or we may not be able to keep up in a modern war, because we are going down with the combined operations, so... I suppose so. Just retreat him. Uh, can we just cut down there, and then you guys cut over there to the capital? If we take the capital, that should be it, right? I mean, that doesn't make any sense why they would not can just give up after we took the capital, right? Okay, a spot promoted, nice. Even though we have, like, no planes left. Uh, I want you guys to help kill these guys off as fast as possible. Alright, well, we got Bucharest. <sighs> yeah, see, so can we actually get up there fast enough? I don't like this war. <laughs> I really don't like this war. We're dangerously close to getting uh, encircled here. Oh, crap. Are you kidding me, man? Why are the Hung Romanians ridiculously strong? Don't. Okay, we killed another one. That's good. 73,000. We've about. Actually, we have more divisions than them, technically, but that doesn't mean our divisions are any good. Uh, I was about to move into there. I don't really want to attack yet. Mm mm, mm mm, mm mm, mm mm. And they're pushing us back. God dang it. Bad words all around. What the? Bad words? Are you kidding me? This is not how I want the first episode to go here. Like, I I'm serious about this. This is stupid. I don't like this at all. Break through. Break through. Go, go, go. You guys got a force defense. There's no way I'm going to let these guys win here. Thank God. I mean, Jesus Christ. That, this is... I, I'm... I don't know, man. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't play a lot of Thousand Week Reich, so we'll see what happens. You guys go and retreat. Oh, I did. Uh, they're going to die there. We lost the tanks because Romania is way too strong. Holy crap. Way too strong. And retreat again. Uh, finish communism and ban lifted. That's so stupid. That is so stupid. What are we supposed to do here? They're, there's nothing we can do. They're overpowered. They're completely overpowered. They're not losing any men whatsoever. <sighs> Come on. Did we just lose a division or something? Hmm. Encryption. I guess we do some stuff down over here. Oh my god. We're so far behind in technology. Hold the line. Hold, hold, hold. I guess move in here too. Good God, this is very not bueno. You guys get in there. You guys go in there. You guys go right there. No, no, go. Come on. Well, we've definitely advanced. Better than I thought we, what we could do. But Hungary starts off way too weak. They, they really start off way too incredibly weak. Why? Why do we start off so weak? Didn't we... We were part of the victors here in World War II. Like... It doesn't make any sense. And any damage we take is just... So much damage we can't even contend with. Can we... Can we try to maybe rush the line and go for the coast maybe? I think Iasi maybe? Or however you pronounce it? Is that possible? While they're spending their wasting their time down here, I mean Is it possible to do that, maybe? Move those chubby little legs. We're going back to Bucharest. Give me the god dang division, come on. Go and retreat. Uh, I don't like this. Expand the Gyorshad's test. Uh, Hungary isn't exactly renowned for its population density. If we want to effectively fight a war, we cannot depend on our non-existent swaths of manpower. We must make the investments and ensure that every Hungarian soldier is equipped with the best equipment we can offer and train our soldiers to the highest degree. I did not want this video to be this long, but my god, I do not like this whatsoever. I, this is why I never play Hungary. <laughs> the victory. Not only have we held off the Romanians, but we have even pushed them back, giving us op the opportunity to demand reparations in addition to peace. Offer Romania peace in exchange for reparations? Uh... 
I guess. Sur Sur Romania surrenders. Romania has accepted our peace deal and they will pay us reparations. Transylvania will always be Hungarian. Transylvania treats Conflict ends. Well, it doesn't look like I've got Transylvania. I don't like this. I, I really don't like this. I don't understand why Romania is overpowered. But I think that's going to end us here for today. So <laughs> I think I need to take a little break from this. But regardless, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll discover what else this mod has in store for Hungary. Thanks for watching and have a great, great rest of your day.